Hold on to your shorts, guys. This is where things get fun. Ready? Second Tamio comes in. We have two Sorens, two Tamios. We're going to minus on the Tamio. We're going to bring back a second Asika's Chariot. The Asika's Chariot is a copy. So Asika's Chariot now can come in and attack. And oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's fine, though. I just want to get through this before they quit. <laughs> All right. So uh, Asika's Chariot can copy anything we want, including another Sorin, I guess. Why not? Why not another Sorin? Uh, could have copied the Asika's Chariot. Um, <laughs> things are just getting a little out of hand now. <laughs> things are getting a little out of hand at the moment. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We have done some seriously degenerate things all week, and today is no different. In fact, today takes the cake. <laughs> we are going... Above and beyond anything we've done thus far, we are playing a soul type planeswalker list. And when I say planeswalker, I mean planeswalker list. We are running a total of six planeswalkers. And not only are we running six planeswalkers, the idea of this deck today is not just to hit all six planeswalkers. It's to hit all six planeswalkers and copy every single planeswalker. Because we are playing a card we just recently played in a previous video called Mirror Box, which allows us to play multiple legendaries of the same name. But before I get too far into this video, if you are new here and you find any value in today's content, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, we are actually really close to hitting 5,000 subs. I'd really appreciate it. I could use all the help I can get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you guys didn't see from the intro, this deck gets really twisted. So what are we doing here? Mirror box is going to allow us to play legendary cards. No legendary rule applies, which means we get to uh, put down as many planeswalkers as we'd like. So if we wanted to play three Tamios and this is on the field, absolutely no problem. You can have three Tamios on the battlefield. You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> so we're playing all of the planeswalkers in soul tie colors, at least all of the best ones <clears throat> aside from Onyx. Onyx. <clears throat> Onyx did not. Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. Hold on. Onyx did not make the cut because we are not playing instant sorcery spells. Really, not that many. But um, we've got Loth, we've got Soren, we've got, you know, Tamio. Uh, Cosmina is actually really good because all of our planeswalkers will now have the ability to scry one for plusing two. So if Tamio doesn't have a target for the plus one ability, uh, we can go ahead and just plus two, get its loyalty back up, and just scry one. Uh, we've got Kato. We're trying out Kato for the first time. I don't think we actually got a, a, a lot of opportunities at all to play him today, but we tried our best. We also have Jason Mirror Mage in here as well. Um, but the idea, guys, to copy the Planeswalkers now comes in with the Asika's Chariot. Asika's Chariot is also a legendary card, so typically you can only have one on the field. But if you have a mirror box, you can actually have two Asika's Chariots on the field at the same time. Also, TMO minuses and creates a token of whatever you bring back from the graveyard. So let's just say we bring a Soren back from the graveyard, which we do <laughs> in this video a couple of times. It comes back as a token. And then Asika's Chariot attacks in and creates a copy of the Soren. Not a problem because we have a mirror box on the field. So they can have two Sorens on the battlefield. You see how this can get absolutely disgusting really quickly. Um, that's the idea of the deck. I don't want to spoil too much of this video because you're going to see a lot of really fun, crazy gameplay. But um, lastly, we have a little bit of removal along the way. We have Blood Chief Thirst. We have Binding the Old Gods. And we also have Blood on the Snow because we bring back a ton of Planeswalkers. So we have a pretty big snow package here. Ignore the sideboard. We had a card in here earlier that allowed us to access a sideboard for learn cards. But we don't have that anymore. So enjoy the video, guys. Enjoy the gameplay footage. I know you will. Meet me back here at the end for some final thoughts on how the deck played out. Peace. All right, here we go. We just dropped ourselves into Mythic. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and play a few more games of Jank before I... I hang up the jank for a while um, and get a little serious, but um, we're going to be playing some soul tie walkers. And I mean the most degenerate planeswalkers list you've seen in a while. I'm sure when I do something, I do something a little hard. You know what I'm saying? I, I go all in on it and uh, planeswalkers. When I say I'm playing planeswalkers, I'm playing all of them. <laughs> At least I'm going to try to play all of them. We have a new artifact that allows us to play legendaries, even though they're already on the field. So hopefully we're going to get like 10 Planeswalkers out here at some point. Let's see what our opponent has in store for us. We got a few games to go before we're talking about numbers here, but 
We'll see. We'll see. All right. Hopefully it doesn't take too long today. I already I got an opponent here taking their time. It is pretty late here where I'm at. Uh, I've been putting in a lot of a lot of extra time and work and energy into these videos, and I, I've been brutally tired and exhausted. But uh, we're getting we're getting through them. I uh, I watched the Super Bowl today. Probably shouldn't. I probably should have been working here, but uh, took the time off to watch the Super Bowl today. It was a really exciting game. Really happy uh, that I got to catch it. But all right, what's going on here, guy? What's going on here, guy? That's kind of interesting. All right, here we go. We're finally playing. And we get a two land hand to kick things off. But we do have Jace and we go second. So Jace might be able to get us there. We have Blood Cheese Thirst. This is actually a keepable hand, believe it or not. I don't like it. Two land hands are always horrible for me, but uh, we're going to give it our best shot with the Blood Cheese Thirst. Hopefully it'll get us there. Looks like they're playing some reanimator stuff themselves. <laughs> They've got some graveyard, graveyard effects. Sorry, it's kind of a boring way to kick off the first game there with that little bit of a, a lull. I'll probably forget to edit that out because this is uh, going to go in the bank of videos down the road. All right, I will play Jace for sure and just get the scrying because they are running just green so far. Green does not scare me as far as removal goes. I'm going to just keep both of these on top. More mana, you know, less problems. <laughs> More mana, less problems. Okay, um, I think I'm pretty familiar with that card. No, no, I'm not. Search the library for two places. Basically, I card real and put them on. Okay, so they're ramping up here. Put one target car land card from your graveyard on top of your library. So they they do have some graveyard effects, but they haven't found any yet. Interesting. If they're gonna keep going this slow though, as far as building in anticipation, um, we should be able to keep up no problem. Should be no problem because uh, we just take our time. We set up. We get the planeswalkers out. We start copying stuff. It's gonna get. It's gonna get pretty gnarly. Ooh, they got a will though. That's pretty cool. They minus. They don't really have any targets here to turn into. I guess they do. They can plus the Asikis Chariot because that's probably what I'm gonna end up playing here is the Asikis Chariot. Um. Could Blood Chief thirst it, but I think we can wait one turn to do that. I'm gonna wait one turn. Let's see what's on top. Two more planeswalkers. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five mana. I don't think I can keep these. I think I gotta keep hitting my land drops. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I gotta keep hitting my land drops. Just because if our opponent's playing all this green and blue and they're ramping, they're eventually going to play some big bad creatures, right? And so we're going to need this blood on the snow. Uh, this includes one of those creatures, right? It's a reach. It's one one for each land, so that's going to get pretty nasty. No trample though, so we might be okay. We'll see. Return to nature. Ouch. That's a, a card you don't see every day. Got to play it for one because of will. All right, so they do go for the uh, plus on the cat, obviously. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle if the spell was kicked. Search your library for two basic land cards. I believe they kicked it, so they get two basic land cards. Okay. Oh, they're running red. Okay, things got a little more interesting now. What's, what's the deal with the red? What's the deal with the red, my friend? I like the binding here. That's nice. I do like the binding. Let's go and see what we get off the top of our deck. It shouldn't be a six drop. I mean, it's possible, but it's I, a little unlikely. Nice. It's land. I don't wanted to see that. All right. Will is gone. Tamio can bring back the Asika's Chariot next turn, or I could just go with the Loth. Either way, it's fine. Into the Royal. Oh, that is brutal. Okay. That's pretty brutal. I might have to just go with the blood on the snow on the planeswalkers here. I don't know. I mean, I could just get back to my own planeswalker, right? So that, that is 
There is an argument to be had for that. Just blood on the snow, planeswalkers, get back my own Jace. It'd be pretty good. Once Will's down to one, though, it's pretty useless, to be honest, though. Turns my cat into an 0-1 or whatever, but that's not that big of a deal. The problem I'm having is how many cards they have in hand here. It's a lot of cards. All right, let's go with the green block. So I might minus, I might just go Loth and minus here. We'll see. Now they know I have that. Um... No, because if I lolf here, yeah, let's not lolf here. Let's just, let's just use this. Kill that. Well, at least I've learned something. And pass the turn. Seems fine. Seems fine to me. Uh, we'll go ahead and Tamio the the binding back, but I really want to seek his chariot on the field if I'm going to be doing that, so I can infinitely combo off the tokens. That is brutal. No blocks. We will blood on the snow. Easy blood on the snow there. Get in with the cats first. Can't can't miss the value there. All right, kill everything. Bring back my Jace. Scry two here. More blood on the snow seems fun. Don't need a second Loth, I don't think. I mean, we will be able to play it here pretty soon, but don't think I need a second Loth. Blood on the snow could definitely be important here. Based on what we've seen, they're definitely playing some big, big, bad creatures here, so... Something to think about. Nothing Loth can't handle. Nothing a little Loth can't handle here. Alright. Asika's Chariot. You'd love to see it. We keep falling one mana short to cast our, our mirror box, which I really, really want to cast. All right, so what do we throw away here? We have to dip on something. Probably a blood cheese thirst. Dang, if I could have just found a land with that Jace there instead of the chariot, that would have been nice. Could have got down our mirror box. All right, I don't like that. Uh, once they cast that for its prismatic bridge side, that could be pretty annoying. All right, I'm going to scry too. I can uh, blood cheese thirst that. Blood on the snow, the board, get back, what? Nothing? Yeah, maybe not then. <clears throat> Alright, so that's got Vigilance now, that's pretty, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I will. Um, how do I want to handle this? Um, I think, gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I minus the, uh, maybe I plus the Jace to get the scry. Then I can plus the lull. Both of these are pretty good. Um, I like the blocker mechanic idea though and I can also play the mirror box it'd be interesting Good minions are loyal. could be interesting I think developing my board here is probably better than trying to disrupt their board um we've got some pretty wild combos you know that we're about to get through here so Let's just go ahead and set up here because now that we got the mirror box down, this is going to be really fun. We're about to do some really gnarly things to our opponent. We've got our uh, Kato coming down too. Oh, come on, Return to Nature. That is not a fun card to see. Not when you're trying to cast a million Planeswalkers, man. Let it be. See if they go for the Fractal or if I'm going to have the Blood Chief's Thirst them. They go for the Fractal. 66, huh? That's a, that's, that's a hefty little fractal. That is a hefty fractal, that's for sure. Um, yeah, we'll block with the lifelink. Why not? 
gain a bit of life here. Uh, what's in the yard? Nothing that I can bring back, right? In that case, what we'll do is... We'll do this. And we will uh, blood on the snow now. That way we gained uh, one more loyalty on Loth. Takes care of uh, that 66 powered creature. Never mind, it does not. This does though. Can't have you lingering out there, my friend. All right, let's scribe two again. At least I look like I know what I'm doing. Another Loth seems pretty cool. I need to land though first. Can I protect Loth here if I don't create the spiders? I might need to create the spiders here just to protect Jace. Blood on the snow. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is getting a little messy. Um. Yeah, I'm going to minus. Sure gonna I am going to minus. And they need to double block this if I do attack. This can't block, so let's go ahead and just kill Kazmina. Get that out of the way. Alright. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. We're keeping him off the Imrith card draw, which is really big. Uh, this says what now? Put 1-1 one, one counter on target creature or vehicle you control. It gains Vigilance at the end of the turn. And eventually it becomes a 5-5 five, five Vigilance Haste. Got it, got it. The main thing is just block Imrith, right? That's the biggest thing. And we're going to blood on the snow, so let's block their biggest things. Let's hope they don't have another counter spell. Flip the switch says counter target spell unless this controller pays four. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Um, one, two. I only have three mana, so yeah, I wouldn't be able to... Uh, wouldn't be able to pay that four. Thank goodness. Uh, we have a Loth coming off the top here in a minute. So let's go ahead and just get the... Get the old vampires going here. We know Loth's on top, so it would kill our Jace. Um, we can pass on that. Alright, feeling good, man. Oh, just headbutt my mic. Feeling good? Oh, you're kidding me. Now all of a sudden you're mill deck? Are you out of your mind? Are you actually kidding me right now? Right, let's get a Seekers Chariot in here. Let's get the Tamio in here. Tamio's gonna bring back the binding. The future is written in oil and steel. Binding we can copy next turn with the Asikas Chariot. Uh let's scry to here. Even though we might get milled out, which is so strange to me. Sure, we'll take four. Ah, no, just plus. All right, things are things are a little crazy right now. Things are a little crazy. A lot of lot of different uh, mechanics going on here. A lot of different triggers and things. It's kind of weird. Uh, Tasha though, kind of caught me off guard, and now I'm getting a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie, that caught me way off guard. So, feeling pretty strange right now about that. <laughs> I get two cards in hand. They've only got two blue sources though, so they can only play one Tasha's at a time. All right, and there's the scoop. It was uh, it was bound to happen sooner or later. We were we were definitely starting to turn the corner here. Uh, their only hope was to mill us out. We do run really heavy costed planeswalkers though, so it would have been tough. But GG's. Yeah, I did figure the games were going to be a little bit longer with this deck, but uh, I didn't expect that the first game to be 15 minutes, that's for sure. All right, we're, we're getting an opponent here in the top 1700. And we get to go first. This is keepable. All right, this is definitely keepable. Let's not get too excited, but I do like this hand. And binding into eventually a Blood on the Snow could help a lot, but we are against Mono Black, so it's going to be a slow, grindy game. Can we beat Mono Black? Um, obviously their blood on the snow is going to be pretty brutal. <laughs> it's going to be very brutal. But hopefully our planeswalkers can generate enough value on the board with the tokens they generate that we can go more of an Asikas Chariot route. 
I mean, our own blood on the snow too is really good. Our binding hits a lot of their stuff too. If it's mono black, traditionally we can go ahead and hit their, uh, you know, the meat hook massacres and not lose too much there. I don't know. It's going to be a very interesting match up here for sure. All right. Right away. They get down a Loth, which we can answer if we hit a land. Unbelievable. We get a three land hand turn forward. Can't find our land. That's pretty brutal. And uh, we're bound to find one here and it's going to be a tap land. So I'm going to have to take an entire turn off on this next go. I can almost guarantee it. Oh, man, allergies are just so brutal. Loth gains more value just sitting out there while I could be destroying it. Okay, so you're saying that there's a tiny chance here. These bindings, obviously, they ramp us as well, which is so good. So, so good. We need we need that ramp so desperately. So desperate. So we don't need any more blue, so we want to go for a black-green if uh, when our binding triggers next turn. We still want to be top-decking, though, on the lands because... These spiders are a problem, and eventually we are going to have to blood on the snow and get rid of them. I don't think they played a land yet, did they? Do they have a land? They don't have a land. Wow. So they're having mana problems too. Not just us. At least it's fair. At least they're keeping it fair. If one of us gets mana screwed, the other gets mana screwed. I like it. I'm down for that. All right. So by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed mirror box is down and resolved and I don't think mono black's going to have too much of a, a way to deal with that. So I think we're going to be pretty good as far as like doubling down on our planeswalkers here. Shoot. If we get a second to seek chariot, that could get pretty, pretty good. <laughs> All right, so I could activate a Seekers Chariot to copy a Soren's uh, Vampire, which would be kind of nice. And unfortunately, our opponent plays another Lulth, which means another Binding is going to have to come down here. Do what I Blood on the Snow is interesting, but I have nothing to bring back with it. <sighs> this is brutal. This is actually brutal because I can't let that lull linger, but I also can't take six more damage on this next turn. That just sounds ridiculous. Um, shoot, man. And if I have blood on the snow, then they just minus again next turn anyways. I have to kill that lull, right? I mean, I don't know. I think we do it this way, though. I bring my own. I think we do it like that because I mean that's a lot of life gain in the long run right like that's gonna be what we need to do here uh the opponent ignores the block there that's kind of scary does that mean they have uh blood on the snow maybe oh they can't cast the blood on the snow yet though even if they do hit their land drop what does this mean exactly Valky okay it's kind of a waste I like it it's not a waste, but they didn't know it was a waste. All right. We do lose our Soren, but that means our blood on the snow just got better. Um, we do have all this life linking power, though, to just get our life back. Maybe it's just smart to just... So it gets Soren back with Tamio. That might even be better. Okay. So let's start things off. Let's do this. No, let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> and we will use the two spiders to crew our Seekers Chariot. Right? And, and we can get in with all of our life linking power. We'll probably leave back the cat too though, just for more blockers. 
And uh, we gain four here. Getting us back to nine. That feels good. We have another block or two. You can deal with my servant. I'm busy. Next turn, we can Tamio. Tamio brings back the Sorin. And from there, we create another vampire. Yeah, it's going to be good stuff, man. We're going to be right back in this game. As long as we keep these life linkers going, we're going to be right back in this game. It was looking pretty bleak for us on that one turn, too. I'm glad I decided to go with the Sorin and, and copy because it was definitely the right move. All right, end turn. They have a necrotic fumes. That actually hits anything or just creature planeswalker? Okay, so creature or planeswalker. So they're probably going to hit that on Loth, I would assume, right? Ouch. We're going to take six damage here. That's pretty brutal, I can't lie. Yep, can't lie. Pretty brutal. Um... Still though, we're gonna gain four. Okay. Tamio. Get in there. Tamio minuses. We're gonna get back a Sorin. Those spiders are gnarly, man. They've been crushing me right now, but we should have enough blockers this time around to do something with it. Uh, you want to see something cool though? Actually, we can actually start to copy the Sorin and then get another spider. That's what we'll do. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be this is gonna be amazing. Um, yeah, go spiders because we want more life linking blo uh, blocks, right? Check this, guys. Keep this. This is gonna be amazing. Attack in. What do we copy? Oh, I don't know. Let's copy Sorin. <laughs> Let's copy Soren. I don't know. Could be good. We, I mean, we do have a mirror box out here, which is going to allow us to keep it on the battlefield. So I think that's pretty solid. I mean, what do you do? What do you do at this point? You, you're two mana off of blood on the snow. What do you even do at this point? We're going to gain four again, putting us back at seven. And then we create another another spider i'm not spider but vampire i don't think i want to take one damage though one damage could potentially lead me to lethal if i'm not safe so i'm gonna go ahead and not take loth here because if loth deals me one damage puts me to six and they somehow remove two of these creatures i die so there's the scoop though ggs we love to see it copying soren for the win oh man copying soren there was absolutely amazing i love it I love to see it, man. That's the kind of janky stuff we love to see in this channel. Just absolute jank nonsense that feels so, so good. All right. This is a keepable hand, too, because we have Blood Chief's Thirst into Binding. So a couple of removal spells here. Might get some good targets. We'll see. All snow mana, too, by the way, which is really helpful for Blood on the Snow later. Nothing played yet, but it is an Orzhov list, so we might see another, like... Uh, same style of deck here. Wedding announcement, probably going to be the first card we see come down. Let's go blank. Go blank. I think Blood on the Snow can go, believe it or not. I don't like it, but I respect it, <laughs> I guess. Oh, that's tough. Blood on the Snow. I'm sorry, uh, we'll go blank. Got It got my Blood on the Snow. That's a pretty sweet target, I think, for the uh, Binding. Pretty sweet target. Take away their card draw engine. Take away their ability to gain that life. Ooh, fell at our retreat, though. That's another good target that I could have had. Let's go here and here. Seek his chariot. With the Seekers Chariot actually down and resolved, it's so huge because now whenever I play anything like a Tamio, whenever I bring back, I can start copying. And we have Mirror Box too, so just having Tamio ready, I'm sorry, uh, having a Seekers Chariot ready to go is so clutch. All right. I'm going to do this. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's 
go ahead and attack in here with the Asika's Chariot. Copy a cat. We got ourselves a Tamio, baby. Let's go. Tamio's going to bring back the Soren. If you guys didn't see, Soren is in the yard. I could bring back the Soren, or I could bring back the Binding. The Binding's not a bad idea, too, because I can kill the Felidar Retreat, and then I can copy it and kill the Morbid Opportunist as well. Could be pretty solid. Is that a... Oh, it's a Crawling Barons. What in the world are we playing against here? Now that's that's quite the question I'm asking myself at the moment. What is going on? All right, let's do it. And we still can hit a Blood Chief Thirst on the cat too. Uh, the cat from the Felidar Retreat. All right, this is going to be a really good turn. It's going to be a good turn, ladies and gentlemen. Here's where we copy the binding infinite times. Um, if you guys haven't seen this combo yet with Tamio and the Asika's Chariot, check out my last Soul Tide video I posted. I had the same exact combo in the deck. It was broken. <laughs> it was absolutely broken. Expel. Oh, brutal. But hey, we still get the copy off. It did go on the stack, so... That's fine. They have another kill spell target. Okay. All right. Well, Morbid, Oppor Morbid Opportunist is gone and we still have this so we can protect our Tamiya from any retaliation. Uh, what was that card though? It was destroy target attacking creature. Oh, they can cleave it though for just destroy attacking or just destroy creature. Interesting. All right. Let's go with this because now uh, Tamio can now plus two to scry, which is so big. Um, I don't think I need a blood cheese thirst. I, I kind of need something to deal with that, right? So let's scry again. That's pretty solid. I like that. So let's go ahead and get one of these down. Get in for two. Keep them off of drawing cards. I love it. Okay, we're good. We are golden, man. This is going really well. This is actually going extremely well. Okay, that's a Doomscar, right? Anytime I see something foretell, I almost always assume Doomscar. Okay, bindings are gone. Let's get in for an attack here. I don't like that they're holding priority here. Is it poison the cup? That's weird. It is. Wow. Very strange. Glad that we attacked first before we played a Seekers Chariot. They're going to regret not holding that for the Chariot itself. Scryed two to the top. Oh gosh, that's not good. Not good at all. Land is fine, but it's not what we want. We need actual playables. We're going to keep scrying here. Dude, the, effect, the fact that we can copy... Kazmina's plus two is so busted. It, it's it, it doesn't come it doesn't come like to be a thing that often, but it is so busted when it happens. Like Tamio not having a target to plus one on, like to be able to just plus two up its loyalty by two every turn and just scry and actually give me some value is insane. Actually insane. All right, so now what do you guys know? We can start copying. That's so good. Watch this. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Just watch. Uh, when's the last time you saw two Asika's Chariots on the battlefield at the same time? <laughs> I'll do you one better. When's the last time you've seen two Asika's Chariots and two Sorens on the battlefield at the same time? Probably never, right? Probably never, I would assume, right? I forgot to uh, minus first. Hold on. Let me minus. Not that it mattered. Okay. I bring my own army. There we go. We got ourselves two Sorens. Two Asika's Chariots. I mean, come on. Okay, one Asika's Chariot. <laughs> two Sorens, one Asika's Chariot. Uh, so funny. For the sake of all Innistrad. Yeah, I think this is where their head explodes. They're looking at all of it like, what am I going to do? 
What am I gonna do? It's a great question. What are you gonna do? You don't have snow mana, which means you're not blowing up on my planeswalkers. What are you gonna do? <laughs> this is so this is so awesome. This is so cool. Oh man, so ridiculous though. You know what? Let's plus two on this, because if we alt this, we win the game. Uh, another Tamiyo seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I don't mind it. I don't mind the uh, second Tamiyo. Tamiyo will bring back an Asikas Chariot token, and then we can copy the Asikas Chariot token. Okay. Hold on to your shorts, guys. This is where things get fun. Ready? Second Tamiyo comes in. We have two Sorens, two Tamiyos. We're going to minus on the Tamiyo. We're going to bring back a second Asika's Chariot. The Asika's Chariot is a copy. So Asika's Chariot now can come in and attack. And oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's fine, though. I just want to get through this before they quit. <laughs> All right. So, uh... A Seeker's Chariot can copy anything we want, including another Soren, I guess? Why not? Why not another Soren? Uh, could have copied the Asika's Chariot. Um, <laughs> things are just getting a little out of hand now. <laughs> things are getting a little out of hand at the moment. Uh, they are still alive somehow, some way. Let's get this ready for an alt. Blood Chief Thirst is fine, whatever. I don't even care what's on top of our deck anymore. I genuinely have no concern whatsoever about it let's create a vampire let's try another one we know it's on top so whatever and then tamio go ahead and tap that down till next turn <laughs> oh my god this is so fun <laughs> this is so much fun <laughs> oh man Sure. Oh man, I'm so tired and delusional. This should not be this fun. I feel like a child. Ah, oh, so funny though. So funny. I'm so happy our opponent's letting us. Let, oh, was just as I said that, I'm so happy our opponent was letting us do what we were doing. Uh, it was gonna get even crazier next turn. Like, can you just imagine what the next turn looks like? Like, we copy another Soren. Soren alts here. Soren. <laughs> I can't, I can't, GG's. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Before I dive into the deck breakdown here at the end, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who made it because if you made it this far in the video, it helps a lot with the you know algorithm. They push my videos out to more people when they see that watch time. So thank you so much for helping me out with that. It means the world. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, I've if you wouldn't mind considering hitting that button, it does help a lot. It is free. It uh, Also, we're on the road to 5,000. We're really, really close. I would love to hit it by the end of the next week or so. That would be pretty sweet. Um, all right, let's talk about the list, man. You guys saw, I mean, you guys saw what this thing can do. And it's, uh, I mean, what do I say? It's pretty ridiculous, man. I feel like a child out there playing this deck because I'm having so much fun. Um, that's what I like to do around here. I like to try to be as degenerate as i possibly can and just do the most filthy disgusting things you can think of um and this is one of them <laughs> this card right here has opened the avenue for a lot of really really cool things and uh one of them right away when i read this was obviously making that legendary deck that you saw in the naya form yesterday but i was like i can't just let that be it man i have to try this again in a way bigger fashion and i i realized it but while playing the wandering emperor how that you can have two on the field right so it's like why not make a full planeswalker list? And that's where we ended up, man. And uh, it, it took a while to tweak this thing to get it to where it was actually winning. We actually took some heavy losses early on. We we had a different style of gameplay. Like I said, we had access to a sideboard over here because we were playing like a uh, cram session and some early uh, life gain stuff to kind of set up our planeswalkers, but it was a bit slow. Um, I found out that the early removal with Blood Chief's Thirst and Binding ha uh, helped a lot. If you can find obviously more ways to deal with creatures through permanence, would be pretty ideal because you can bring it back with Tamiyo. So if like there are some enchantments maybe that you want to throw in here that, you know, maybe do some minus one, one stuff or, you know, you know, there are some of those, you know, black enchantment things that, you know, you slap on a creature and it, you know, it gives them minus one, one or, 
Uh, you know, there are, there's a lot of, like, like here's one, for example, Gift of Fangs. It gives negative 2-2 two, two to a creature, so you can ultimately end up killing a creature, and then later you can bring it back with Tamiyo if you, if you need it, you know? So there, there are some things you can do here. Obviously, Sagas are a great thing you can do, too, because you can bring them back and make a token and then copy them. Uh, you, like the Binding of the Old Gods combo that you've seen me hit. So, there are... I want to say infinite amount of combos you can do with this deck and really what opens up the combos is tamio man if you guys haven't realized yet tamio is the oh, the absolute superstar of this deck any sort of soul tie deck with planeswalkers tamio should be in it man because not only is it bringing back your planeswalkers for extra value over time but just the fact that it brings it back as a token man makes it so much better i think because Obviously, tokens can be bounced and, and you don't get them back to your hand. So there is some downside to that. It's a double-edged sword. But you pair it with the Seekers Chariot and you've got yourself a winning combination, man. Those two cards together, these two cards were built for each other. And then you just add on that extra piece, man, with the mirror box and it, it's it's a home run. Obviously, this is a jank deck. This is not a deck that you're going to take in Mythic like I just did and, and run it to a number, high 100, you know, whatever. It's not going to happen. Um... You can make some tweaks to this deck and let me know if you figure out a way to do that. I mean, it could definitely use some uh, some tweaking. And uh, if you figure out a way to make it better, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't think you guys can hear it because I have my alerts on stream only mode. But I just got an alert in my headphones and it was so loud. Actually, I think you guys might have heard that. Yeah, you guys saw that. <laughs> that just scared That just scared the living bejesus out of me. Anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas on how to make this deck better is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but as of right now, I like where mine's at. I like this list a lot. Like I said, maybe Blood Chief's Thirst can go out for another permanent so Tamio can bring it back. You never know. That could be pretty helpful. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it. And uh, before I hop out of here and say goodbye, I don't know what day this is coming out. I've lost track, honestly. But uh, thank you for everything, To uh, especially to my Mardi Mob, man. Huge shout out goes to my Mardi Mob as always. Um, every single, you know, stream that I have here live every single Wednesday, if this is Wednesday, join us live on the stream. Um, I just want to say the Marty mob, man, they come out in droves and they constantly are uplifting and just great members of this community. And not only that, they help support the channel through financial, you know, uh, monthly memberships. So thank you so much for everything you guys do. I, I can't thank you enough. It means the world to me. It keeps the channel going. So huge shout out goes to them. And, uh, you know. I really appreciate them and, and by the way guys we don't we don't get these new cards this quickly without that uh you know pickup from the membership program here it, it really kind of funds the whole channel at the moment and and gets us what we need to get to play these cards so thank you to all of them for making that possible and uh yeah if you guys want to become a marty mob member today you can hit that join button down below or the link in the description and become a member as well. But uh, thank you guys. I appreciate all of you for watching and sticking to the end. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Hit him three times like a hat trick. The name is Flizzy No Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks. The meta, this ain't cheap.